NDAs, non-disclosure agreements, should I make my developer sign an NDA? Um, I'd say generally. So are you talking freelance or regular employment? That's interesting. Is it, do you think there's a difference? Um, I guess freelance, I guess I would start with, and then maybe think about employment after that. All right, so my initial reaction was going to be no. And, okay. And just, just because in tech, NDAs are like way overused. Yeah. In this case, I actually will say yes. Okay, tell me. Um, the difference is if someone's working with you in yeah. general, it's almost always a good idea to have an NDA. Okay. Right? If, if you're paying them for something, if they're working on a project with you, yeah. then they have access to a lot of information. Sure. The NDA is really just going to say you can't share you know, the specifics of what we were doing. Mm -hmm. You can't share, like, the code itself. With anyone. With anyone else. Yeah. Um, but where you don't want to go overboard is bringing it in too early. That's, I think that's the thing that is more frequent, where you'll yes. get an intro email. You don't even know this person. Yes. And they're like, I'll, I can't even tell you my idea yes. until yes. you get you sign an NDA. The NDA is only important once you've both decided we want to work together. Mm -hmm. You've decided the scope of the thing, mm -hmm. and you decided like how much you're going to pay them. Like awesome. all of this stuff is much more important. The NDA is the last step, the formality, before they actually get started. Nice. But an NDA, don't use it before you talk about your idea, before mm -hmm. you discuss the project. Mm -hmm. It's it's useless, and because developers are talking with so many different people about their ideas, right, right. they're not going to sign your NDA. Because right. it probably means that they are breaking NDA. They're breaking your NDA by talking to other people about like other things already, and and like then they won't be able to have half the conversations or work on half the projects that they want to. That's true, right? So I think it's an important part of employment in general. Yeah. But it's part of the employment contract. Awesome. Don't be afraid of talking about your idea and even the specifics of your idea. Without you an NDA, you should talk about your idea as yes. much as possible. Exactly. This is something I can't remember who it was when we were in YC at one of the dinners. Yeah. And they said, "Tell your idea to everybody and don't do the NDA." Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? And they're basically like, because if somebody can steal your idea and do it overnight, yeah, they're yeah. gonna do that, and you you just saved a year of your life holding on to that secret. Yes. Because if it's that easy to steal. And, but what you'll find is that if you put it out into the world, you can call. I mean, I think the best test would be call your competitor, mm -hmm. like whoever that is, right? Um, it's like us calling, I don't know, colleges or something, right? And being like, hey, so we have this idea for this thing, online, you know, online education. We're going to make these classes. And try to get them to steal your idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's... going to be like, whatever, we're busy with all this other don't, stuff. Don't pick your top idea. <laughs> pick, like, idea number five or right, something fair. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Try to get them to take it, and they're going to say, like, we have the next two years planned already. Like, we're right. so busy. Exactly. We, sorry, we can't. Exactly. Uh, that's a Dave McClure classic. Oh, is that Dave McClure? There. Okay, great. Uh, Mark yeah. Chandela or, uh, from The Ladders also says, mm. you know, he's like, in order to succeed as a startup, you have to be telling everyone about your idea. Awesome. And so having people hide it is actually going to be counterintuitive, mm. right? Um Plus, at the end of the day, and this is kind of hard for people who are non-technical to realize initially, the idea itself is like such a small part of the overall right. value of the thing. Right. There's all of the execution. Execution. The secret yeah. stuff is how this thing is built, like yes. the actual code. It's not what feature your product has. Right. It's not even like the actual interaction with users. Yep. The, you know, the clever feature. There's really nothing secret about that. Yeah. Like and you can't I'll, even and I'll add to that. If, if you know, we had the same brilliant million dollar idea right here, and we both opened it up, and we could both read it, and it's like, go, and we had a year to build this. You and I would build, I mean, you, even you know, we know each other so well, and we have such a similar foundation, we'd still build yeah. completely different products and exactly. completely different education, uh, execution of it. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and think about, you think about, oh, well, the, my competitor has so much money, and they can do it so much better, yo. That's money, not necessarily Money true. doesn't matter for <laughs> yeah, shit. That is not necessarily true. Think of all of the extremely famous, well-funded, oh, yeah. just disaster companies. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, it, it's embarrassing. Yeah. You know? And it's because sometimes it's actually harmful. Yep. Sometimes having too much money is a bad thing. It means lack of focus. It means spending too much money on stuff that doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's the way that you execute an idea. So don't be so worried about it. Share your idea. Share your idea with the world.